Yo, it's your boy Lilo Jones, and you watching Lilo in the Garden. I'm in the garden, chilling in the garden, wilding in the garden. Looking for me, I'm in the garden. I'm in the garden. I'm in the garden. Can't find me in the street, but you might find me in a garden. Yeah, man, today on In The Guard, man, I'm at an undisclosed location, you know what I'm saying? I know you see them goats behind me. Well, this is the spot that we me and Day Day, we done hooked up, and we gonna have us a little farm venture going on. You did what I'm saying? We in the city, but I can't tell you exactly where, though. You did what I'm saying? Day Day! That my boy Day Day back there, man. Yeah, man. You know, we got to put the water out here for the goats, too, man. What's up, big dog? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good, it's man. always good to see you. It's man, always good to see you, man. It's always good to see These goats looking good. Yeah, they looking good, man. You know, they got a lot of good nutrition to eat on. They got the good hay and all that good stuff. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. And, you know, good keeping worms down all this cold weather we have had, and that's a yeah. good thing. So, and electric fence still working there. <laughs> yeah. Get back, get back, get back. Get back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so, so, we over here, man, you know what I'm saying? We about to go ahead and show y'all a little tour on what we got going on around here. You dig what I'm saying? Like I say, Day Day done already got the goats down here. How long the goats been around here, Day Day? The goats been out here about a good a month and a half to two months. Two months, yeah, okay. So we did a lot of cleanup, man. Yeah. When, when they first got out here, this area was totally unviewable. You couldn't see nothing out there. Okay. And so they have tremendously cleaned it up. Well, we can see now actually what the homeowner actually wants. Yeah. So, so he wants to ask tractor. You see his bush hog is sitting right there. Yeah. Where he was out, you know, doing some bush hogging and ran over some things that he couldn't see. So he asked, would I bring the ghost out? And so I brought the ghost out. So he said, man, I can see everything now that I need to pick up. So I want yeah. to bush hog up. So we got him satisfied. But we got yeah. another area over there behind the home over there. Uh huh. You know, that area, you know, we got to get it cleaned up and stuff like that. Once we get it cleaned up, we get another good thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. First of all, we get started out of here. Let me show you these ghosts right here. Uh huh. This right here is one of these cashmere ghosts that we got from a lady out there in uh, Stockbridge. Uh huh. That had a line of ghosts that had never been wormed in 50 years. 50 years of yeah. not being wormed. Yeah. And they cashmere. And Ooh. They cashmere. So, you know, man, that is a real good strand of uh, material. Cashmere is one of the higher materials up there with that silk and all those kind of. But, man, that goat right there feels like plush. 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 I'm so talking about, soft. Oh, dude, you put it up against your skin, it's like, oh, man, it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a very, very, if you know anything about materials and cashmere, cashmere yeah. is a very, very, very soft, soft, soft fine material. Yeah. That's where it come from. They oh, go. That, that go right there. Dig it. Yes. How many goats you got out here, man? Well, we have, right now, we have 17 out here. 17? Yeah, but we have, you know, several of our nannies, uh, you know, are pregnant and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I see. They looking big and swole. And we have one of our little young bucks. He's out here. He's he's continually breeding today. You know, I, <laughs> I just got one now with the white leg over there. Right here with the white leg. Uh-huh. He, you know, he kind of, you know got with her today so oh, that, that's him right there yeah that's him he's, little bucket boy yeah, he's a little bucket boy he has real good disposition you know he's a small headed goat but his body and his tone and all that stuff is real great so you know when you when you when you're having goats that are out doing things like this you don't want them have them those big old big heads yeah that'll make the the, the birth difficult uh -huh. the, the smaller the head the better the birth to be you uh -huh. know what i'm saying so you use a young little nice billy look at his little disposition of his head so you know he'll come out you know has good body structure you know what i'm saying and uh, and he can consume some food Dig. Yes, he can consume. Yes. So so he's a worker. He's a worker. He's a good worker and a great breeder. Yes, yes he is. Dig. Yeah, them goats behind us. You know what I'm saying? We touring the the, the, the scene. You know what I mean? Let y'all know what we got going down. But right here behind me, right here, this tree right here, this is on record. You know what I'm saying? This right here is the tallest beech tree in the state of Georgia. You did? The did. tallest beech tree. You did what I'm saying? And this property that we own, this is a very, very, very historic property right here as well. Uh, this property was used by the Native Americans back in the day. They used this area for a ceremonial ground and for a gathering and, I mean, gardening and things like that. As well as after the invasion, um, the Confederate Army used this as well for a campground and a base site. You dig what I'm saying? So after that, the gentleman who owned this land 
he actually fed his family from the garden and from the farm that he had going around on this property as well. You did what I'm saying? Uh, our buddy who actually owned this property, it's like 12 acres, you know what I'm saying? He gave us three. They, they got the goats on, on, on the little spot out there. You know what I'm saying? And then we come around the curb, you did what I'm saying? You gonna see how this thing really, really opens up. And you can see really what we about to go in. For real, for real. You did what I'm saying? Check it out. Ooh. Look at that, look at that. You know what I'm saying? We going in, son. You best believe it. You did what I'm saying? All over back here in the back behind this forge. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a greenhouse. The old greenhouse that the dude you See that? Yeah. It's an old greenhouse. It done dilapidated a little bit, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because we got the okay to go in. Ain't that right, J.D.? Correct, my son. Yes. We about to go in. You know what I'm saying? Day Day, I seen you was over there with that mule over there, huh? I was over there with the old mule there, just tried to knocking a little top ground off there. <laughs> <laughs> Save us a little back breaking. Yeah, know, because yeah. Because I haven't been working a period of about 15 years. But yeah. This was once, they, uh, like you said, a, a, a farm that fed a family, but the farm not only fed, fed the family, the farm actually fed the community because it became the community live farmer's market. Wow. At the time when the gentleman wow. came, he used to work it, dude. When I say he worked it, he worked it all in all the area where the goats was, even this area that meant you standing on. Dig it. All that was formed. Like everything was straight formed. And at once upon a time before the development came, there was a lake right there in that bottom right there where that had a fresh water lake in right there in that area. Wow. Wow. The gentleman actually worked all of this, but we actually are finna use the roads that he had 15 years ago, the roads are right. actually still there. You see them. You can see the roads and the humps are still yeah. there. It haven't been yeah. plowed in 15 years, but the actual land that the gentleman had his last garden on the development of it still exists. Yeah. It have not been stirred. So we're actually gonna take the little mule that we got over there. That's that mule right there. That's that mule, because it pull like a mule and it work like a mule. That's the mural. That's, that's the mule. That's, that's the mural. We're going to take the mural and we're going to let the mural eat the little top layer of grass off. It's going to be probably about like, um, I say three inches. You three know what I'm saying? Three inches at the most. So three if we get that three inches off, and then me and you do a little manual labor, you know, prepping, prepping, you know, how we yeah. do what we do and stuff like that. Add whatever components to how you know, yeah. you know, because you're the master and I'm just hey, the only man. to be a, hey, a student man. and a helper, hey, my brother. Hey, brother. hey, we, we, we are all <laughs> students out here. We all learn day by day. Hey, hey, day they taught me into using the mule, right? Y'all know yes, I yes. don't like going in with the mule because, uh, you know, I like to keep it as natural as possible. But out here, like we said, this land has been working over 15 years and he got this mule that got some controls on it. So you can control the levels on how deep you go in the ground. Right, right. So right here, he just basically scratched up the top, you know what I'm saying? So I can see where we're going down, you know what I'm saying? You see, the dirt is not that bad, you know what I mean? It's not, you know, super black or anything. It is a little clay, you know what I mean? But it's fluffy, it's fluffy, you know what I'm saying? I know we got, a, you see, we got a, a, a pot of dirt back there that we move. That that good compost from all these leaves that have fallen, you know what I'm saying? So we got a truckload, moved it over here earlier, but now we finna go in, you did what I mean? We're gonna scratch back the top, rake it down, you did what I'm saying? Then we're gonna do a little integrating, you know what I mean? But we just gonna show y'all this process, what we gonna get done today, you did what I'm saying? And like I say, we're not gonna disturb any uh, microorganisms and the microbials in the ground, you did what I'm saying? We trying to invite all the microbials, all the earthworms, all the friendly things under the ground that makes the ground alive and the soil have life, which also make those plants grow a lot, lot better and be a lot stronger and healthier. You did what I'm saying? So. And listen, I want to also explain to you that none of this will go to waste. No, no. As I shake this off here, Lily. Uh huh. Okay, we're gonna just take the top layer of grass and weeds off. But you know what I'm gonna do with this? Feed it to the goats. <laughs> Feed it to the goats. Yeah, the circle of life in the garden, you did what I'm saying? Just moving things around, putting them goats in there, feeding them with them natural grasses, you did what I'm saying? We ain't wasting nothing, just cause we tilling it up, we just moving it back, let them goats get in on the action, you did what I'm saying? Cause we get in on the action after they finish with the action, you feel me? Nothing goes to waste. 
everything must be used. You dig what I'm saying? Know that. All right. We about to go in now, y'all, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? About to crank that mule up. Go ahead and do the scratch back. You know what I'm saying? Expose this dirt. See what we working with. Then we're going to put in and integrate some of that composted soil, like I told you about, that, that came from these trees from years and years and years of decomposition. So we're going to go ahead and make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Get this little area together for y'all, and y'all can see what it really be about. You dig what I'm saying? Outdoor lifestyle. Straight like that. That way. Yeah. What he and that ain't doing right now is that ain't is killing and skimming off the top. I'm coming in with that eagle claw. You hear what I'm saying? And I'm just getting the big root systems of the grass, weeds, things like that. And I'm just trying to pull those up so we can really see what this dirt is looking like. You know what I'm saying? And so when we integrate, we'll already be into the soil and we just want to put things on top of the soil. Yeah, as y'all can see, we done did the scratch back real good. They, they came through with that mule, you know what I'm saying? They got that top part off. I came through with that eagle claw, start busting up them big boy root systems and scraping it down to the side where we can have some good rolls going and we making it do what it do. Like I was just telling Day Day, this soil right here is very clay, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, it, it's fluffy right now because it's dry, but when it get wet, it will clay up and the microorganisms won't be able to move in there. So like I was telling Day Day, we need to integrate a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And change the tilth of the soil. You did what I mean? And by changing the tilth of the soil, we will basically be changing the texture of the soil. And I was telling Day we can add some sand in here. That will loosen up the soil and make more pores so water, air, and the microorganisms can move around. As well as the fresh compost that we got back here. You did what I'm saying? This compost has been out here for years and years and years, you know what I'm saying? Undisturbed in its natural habitat. You did what I mean? And look at it. It's been raining and everything, but look how fluffy and light that is and how black it is. You know what I mean? That means the microorganisms can move around and they can make it do what it do. You did what I'm saying? So we, yeah, while they, they still busting it up, you know what I'm saying? Working out them pit boy roots. I'm just going to start integrating this thing and start throwing it where he working at. So he can start integrating some of this good compost into that red clay. Cause right now we can't grow no potatoes or no carrots in that thing right now. You dig what I'm saying? Things look. See them white microorganisms in there? Can you see that? Them white microorganisms. That what we want in that soil. You dig what I'm saying? So that's what we trying to do. Put them microorganisms back in the garden. So this soil will be alive and our plants can thrive. You dig?
I think I found one, JD. I found a worm. Found one. Look. Look. I done found the earthworm. We ain't found the earthworm the whole time we were chilling out here. But see, this what that good compost got in there. It got the microorganism, got the earthworm. So we about to integrate, like I keep saying. I keep emphasizing the integration of this soil because that's what we need in this thing. You did what I'm saying? This is the first step to getting this guard back right. I mean, this garden back right. Because like they, they told you, it been 15 years or something that nobody ain't putting nothing in this ground. So we gonna rebuild the soil and get it back right so we can eat right. You feel? Integration. Integration. I ain't playing about my car, homie. All this knowledge I'm giving, it don't equate to money. Dead serious, I ain't playing about my car, homie. If you ain't talking about a garden, you ain't saying nothing. Yeah, man, you see that pile almost flat right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't went in, go ahead and put that down on top of these fur two roll we put in it. And as you can see, they they over here really integrating this thing. You know what I'm saying? He got that eagle claw. That's what I like to call it. And he getting all the old trash up out there in the big root system, as well as he's mixing it up, not going too deep and not being too rough on the soil, because we got them earthworms and them microorganisms in there. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see, how I showed y'all just a minute ago in our uh, soil right here, you got these microorganisms, these bacteria, fungi, and everything else living in that joint. You see it? You know what I'm saying? Fungi and everything like that. So that's what we want. That's what we need, and that's what we putting in this thing. You did what I'm saying. We out here making it do what it do. You know what I'm saying. They they got the day day go dynasty, and this your boy with outdoor lifestyle. You know what I'm saying. So I think we gonna put it together and call it the outdoor dynasty form. You did. Yes, yes, yes. That's how good you did it. I love it. You love it. Yeah, man. So we gonna go ahead, finish in the gray. You know what I'm saying. Before it get too late and this sun go down on us. You know what I'm saying. And we are gonna make it do what it do. We'll come back to y'all live too and let y'all see what we making do what it does out here. The ODL, the outdoor dynasty form. You did. Peace. Yeah, man, but for real, for real, me and Day Day hooked up on this little co op venture because we trying to put the power of food and medicine back into the hands of the common man. You did what I'm saying? Because food is our medicine. If we eat the right food and we eat the right things and we eat healthy, we won't have all these different ailments and different mind problems that we having in today's society you did what i'm saying yep. so that what me and day they trying to do you did what i mean so right now we just empowering people by the food trying to bring it back to you live you did what i'm saying like they used to do back in the day everybody was getting their food fresh from the garden going straight to the market you did what i'm saying and we didn't have all this obesity we didn't have all this diabetes we didn't have all these mental ailments and things like that so what we doing is coming hard and coming live trying to put the power of the food Back to you, you dig?